Good afternoon, the Chairman Kumarai Defenders and Access to Justice Advocate Center. Our Lady Department, co comrades and Neighbor Viewers, our Queen Mrs. Solushala, the National President, like for the Kija Allen Avenue branch, have a case of breach of contract reported by Mr. Batch Chinoso Judge against uh, Ms. Uh, Jane Ludubisi over visa scam. The complainant is live in our office. Please join us as we interview him and connect to the defendant for a peaceful resolution. Subscribe to our YouTube channel on Access to Justice TV and follow us on our Facebook page of Human Rights Defenders and Access to Justice Advocate Center. For more useful information, visit our website on www.hrdac.org.ng. All right, Banshi, can we hear you at least? Good afternoon. My name is Sibatu Chinoso George. Okay. From Imo State. Uh, I've known Mrs. Jane for a very long time. Her younger brother was my classmate back then in secondary school. Yeah. So 2019, I was browsing online. I was online, so I saw her younger brother online, and I noticed he was in Russia. So I contacted him and started asking him how did he get the contact and who helped him to process the visa. So he told me it was his elder sister that helped him out. So I said, okay, let me contact her if she can also help me out. So I contacted her. We talked. She told me everything. She said it will cost me 1.3 million. She said uh, his, I request for Israeli visa. So she said it's going to take three months for the visa to be out. So she said we have to pay up front 600,000, 650. We gave her 650. And after that, before then, I asked her, are you a middleman or you are the one doing it yourself? She said she's the one doing it herself. But immediately we gave her money. She started saying the woman, the woman. Anytime we asked her about the thing, she said the woman. But you never told, her, told me anything about any woman. You said you are the one doing it yourself. From three months, that's how she keep posting it, giving us stories from stories, the news, lies, keep on lying for, since 2019 up to now. And I've been trying to collect my money back. All, all my effort was proved about it. But at the end of the day, she later gave me 150000 remaining 630000 Since then, she has refused to talk to me. She blocked me everywhere. Every miss she I can... Five, five. She gave me one fifty, remaining five thirty. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to contact her. She blocked me everywhere. No means of contacting. Though she has a... She has a, a soccer. She's a... She's into FIFA scout something. So that's the only way I can contact her. Most times she don't, once she notices me, she won't reply my chat. So I've been trying, she refused. They've contacted her severally to come and so that they can hear her own side of the story. She refused to turn up. Nothing, everything we've done, I've put about no good result. So I'm here to beg the world to help me out so I can recover my money. From her and I'm begging the human rights justice to help me get justice. The, this is her picture. This is her picture. She's in Abuja. She claimed to be in Abuja because when I knew her, she was in Lagos. And when I was processing this visa, she never told me she has re relocated to Abuja. She even came from Abuja down to Lagos to collect the money. After collecting the money, I let her find out that she is not, she's no more in Lagos, that she has already relocated to Abuja either two years ago or one year. Ago, and she never told me anything about that. Ever since then, she has been she has been turning me up and down. If we try to contact her, even when they send letter to her, she will never reply. She will never turn up. Please, I want you to help. This is her picture. This is her face. Drop the picture. No ma, no ma. Please let the world see. This is her picture. I just need help. Anybody that can, anybody that if, if you know her, please help me. We need a, I need information to know how to get her. She says she's in Abuja. She has been hiding. She don't want to give me my money for over two years now. You say you saw her online? Yes, I saw I, I saw her brother online. He is my friend. So I noticed he is in Russia. So I asked him who helped him. So he said he's his elder sister. So I have to contact this Mrs. Jane now to help me. So when I contacted her, she told me it would cost me 1.3. But I have to pay up front 650000 and the visa, the procurement will last for, the process is only three months. But after giving her the money, from three months to five months, every time she'll say next month, she'll say next week, she'll keep giving me excuse, flimsy excuse. 
all, all of none of everything, every word that comes out from her mouth is lies. All her words is full of lies. She has never ever told me truth for one day. Up to now, she has been she's she's hiding. She don't want to even pay the money. No remorse in her to pay me back my money. This is the work to help me. This is her name is Jane Is she married? I don't know about I don't know if she's married now. I don't know. She I'm like a family friend to, to her because I've known her right from my childhood. I know her, and that was the reason why I trusted her to give her this, this job to help me out. And at the end, the end of the day, she scammed me my hard earned money and used to pay me back my money. Have you contacted the brother that you you call? Yes, I've contacted the brother and I and I let her notice because the the, the brother told me the the elder brother, the, the, the brother is my friend. The younger one that is in Russia, that was the one I contacted. So when I meet my main friend and I told him what was happening between me and his sister, he was angry and he told me I should have let him know because his sister has been having this kind of problem with different people, with numerous people. Even, their, even his father is even tired of this issue because people keep coming to their house to ask them for their money, which means I'm not the first person she has been doing this thing to. And she's still into this business. She's into uh, FIFA soccer scout or whatever. Keep collecting money from people. I logged into that uh, site yesterday. I still saw somebody that was complaining about scam. I can check my Facebook and I'll show you. You see, it. somebody is still complaining the same thing. Somebody is complaining about the same thing. Yes, about the same thing. Somebody is still complaining. He's on Facebook. I can screenshot it and show you. Somebody is still complaining that she scams them. What is her Facebook name? Do you know her Facebook? No, that's the, the soccer and the FIFA soccer scouts page. That's the only place I can locate her. I don't think she's even in Facebook. And she's staying in Abuja? Yes, that's what she told me. And according to friends, I have asked other friends, they say she has been in Abuja for two years. And... Did they give you the address where she is in Abuja? No, they don't know. And it's only the family that knows, and they will never release such information to me. Which of the family knows that she's in Abuja? Know where she is? Her, her, her biological family, her brother, her father, everybody knows where she's staying in Abuja, but they don't want to disclose the information to us. Do you have a contact phone number? Yes, I have a contact phone number. I have two of her contact phone number here. Yeah. Let me have one. 080 yes. 38 Two six nine one nine one six one. Dear customer, the NPN number you have is currently switched off. Please try again later. Which other one? Zero. Uh, the other one is 080-54-25-0-8. The number you're calling is kindly switched on, so out of coverage. Please try again later. When last did you switch on? Is kindly switched on, so out of coverage. Please try again later. She sent my elder brother a voice note. I read last week. A few days ago, that, that uh, she he seems the he seems your firm contacted her and she started replying and started begging that she will pay the money that because of this issue her father has heart attack and just giving normal flimsy excuse. She is full of excuse, always lying. Okay, so which of the number went now? Because uh, maybe probably she off the phone because she knows the case is coming up today. But they say it sent her a reminder day before yesterday. Among these two numbers, is only one number, and you can only contact her on WhatsApp. And I think that number is still, the, the number still belongs to the soccer scouts firm that she's into. So the soccer firm, is it that they just don't, they just want to keep her, let her be duping people, or why are they say keeping such person? It, it seems I noticed she's using their influence to scam people. What is the full name of the uh, soccer? L let me look for it on my phone and screenshot it.
Soccer Star Projects, Soccer Star Projects, that's the, that, that's the Soccer Star Projects. On Facebook? Yes, on Facebook. Yes. Soccer Star Projects. Yes, Soccer Star Projects. Achieve your dream. Soccer star project. Are you a footballer? No. Now, which of the number is on what's The number you call in is kindly switch on. No, no. Coverage. Please try again later. Uh, they, are, they, ask, they are asking where she is. She based in Abuja. Do you know the one that ended in 61? End in 61. I What are you pressing there? I'm showing the number, the WhatsApp number, the one that ended in 61. That's the one that I can use to contact her. I can only chat her. 080. Yes. Three eight two six nine one six one. Dear customer, the MTN number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Thank you. If you chat on WhatsApp, you can get her only on WhatsApp. That's the number that I switched off. She's not using the number. Not fine now also. It's not also. Not the number I can use to talk to her on WhatsApp. I can't connect her. Make sure this. 
Hello, good afternoon, Jane. Hello, good afternoon, Miss Jane. Yeah, good afternoon. Okay, my name is Mrs. Solution. I'm yeah, calling you. Afternoon. Okay. My name is Mrs. Solution. I'm calling you from Umar I Defend and Access to Justice Office. Hello. My name is Mrs. Solution. Comedy Olushala. I'm calling you from Umar I Defend and Access to Justice Office. Okay, good afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon, how are you doing? I'm all right, ma'am. Thank okay. you, ma'am. Thank you. Well, we got a young man in our office, uh, one Mr. Bachu, uh, Chinosu. Uh, okay, she, okay, ma'am. Well, we yeah. got a, repl uh, a complaint against you in our office by the young man that you defrauded him with the sum of 650,000 for a visa proc uh, proc uh, procurement. And then you never did, and come after much pressure, you sent one hundred fifty thousand naira to him, and all the while he have been putting every pressure, trying all his possible best to get the balance from you, which proved abortive, and hence he reported in this office to enable us contact you to recover the balance from her for him. Okay. Put that phone on silent. I've warned you before now. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah can I hear you? Yes, ma'am. So what happened? What transpired? What 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 happened? What about his money? Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Um, I'm just like an uh, in-between person, as in with the woman I was doing the visa for them for him. They are even they are not. He's not even the only one. They are like four of them, and the woman brought back the passport that um. There, there is no good area for Israel because he wanted to do Israel then, that there was no good area for Israel. Yeah. I said, okay, after much more talk, I said, okay, please refer back the money so I can give these people the area of me. It's even from my own pocket, I gave him that 150 when I was putting pressure on the woman's side. So I know, fine, I'm the one that is the main contact. So I know anything because it's true, they know, they know um, the family. So I now said, see, this person is from my own family. Please. Whatever she can give, even till last week, I was still on her. So she was now telling me that, see, they have not done, there's no business right now for her, that she has not even done any visa thing for now, and there's no money for her to give me for now. I said, okay, fine, these people are on me. I've given them 150 from my own side. Okay, please, what can you give me so I, I can give these people? Even before my dad called me, that uh, some people came to him and all that, there is, he wasn't aware and was called going on i explained everything to him i said fine i know it's been long i've given them the 150. there's no money on me right now and my business have not started at all if not i would have even from my own pocket i would have even been giving him money so i sent him a message of sunday that okay please bros i know it's been long that i've given you this 150. okay please from september let me start giving you something that was what i told him okay please from september let me start giving you something no matter how small but let me know that i'm paying something that was why I told him that same Sunday. But he didn't reply me. We read the message. He didn't reply. So that was that's it, man. The issue is this: you cannot collect uh, bulk money for someone, and you are, uh, I mean, asking the person, proposing to refund the money in piecemeal back to the person. He equally have a need of the money, and he gathered the money for him to make use of the money. Or other important things. So if he gives you the money based on trust and you want to refund the money back to him, you want to give him a piece of me, what sense does that make to you? And whoever that you gave the money to, if you know you are not the right person processing the visa, why did you collect the money via your own account instead of providing the account of the person to him? 
Sorry, where he can equal, easily transfer uh, transact because if he did not transact with anybody except you, then have it at the back of your mind that whoever you are contacting as a third party have nothing to do with his transaction with you. Yes, yes, yeah, you're right. Yes, you're right. Okay, ma'am, what I'm pleading is this by September, even if it's 200k, it's much more for me to, it goes a long way, ma'am. Then you give him up to 200,000, that's that is for, so that I'll know that, okay, you have for 300 and something, okay. Please, I know it's not, it's not easy for us anyway right now. I'm trying my best to see that I, I get it off also. And there's something the program posted on Facebook, which is not good, but I just overlook at it. What did you put? Putting my picture, putting my picture and seeing a lot about me and all that on, on Facebook. Even the pe even him himself that is talking to us here is still the same on Facebook that is still showing that they have been you blocked all blocked them from all the contact they are having with you. If they can they can never reach you direct Ma, and if they call Ma, you the phone know. is permanently switched I off. I didn't even know that he was on Facebook. I didn't even know that he was on Facebook. It was when I saw his message. I didn't even know that he was on Facebook. But why would you? Why did you block them? If you are always someone, and it has to do with with this, why did you block them? You should have had open conversation, and not this explanation you should be giving to them. Because you cannot just have a WhatsApp contact where someone cannot get you direct, and you are, you will respond to the person at your own. Well, let me explain what happened. Like yeah. this thing now that you are talking with me now yeah. is on WhatsApp. I use it. I don't use on calls. I used it on calls before, but when I traveled to Ghana, I spent three months in Ghana because I went for a transaction too, and it didn't click. I lost my SIM there. I could not be able to retrieve that line. That was just what happened. Okay, so which other line, line did you give to them to contact you? Did I give to them? No, I've been, since all this while, it has always been on uh, WhatsApp. It has always been on no, WhatsApp. No, I mean, I which to, direct number to. have you ever given to them? No, that is this line, this line that we are chatting with now. Yeah, but it's not Since a direct like call. Now, the number, it. probably someone has, uh, has picked it or the MTN have shut it down because no, but no one can contact you on phone. Yes, since they said NIN. Yes, since uh, that NIN issue that time, when I was in Ghana, I lost the SIM, I could not retrieve the line. That was what happened. Okay, since then you've not bought any other line? Yeah, no, I have another line. I have another line, but I just sent the message on WhatsApp. Because me, need credit Latin, we need, uh, need your Sunday. I didn't have credit to call him, so I just have, uh, I, I bought another line, but I have no address that it's on NIN yet. How did you buy line without registering it? If you uh, ban, how did you buy a line that you've not registered? If you are buying a new SIM card, you're supposed to have registered the line before giving it to when you. When I came back from Ghana, when I came back from Ghana, I bought it at the border. Because the other SIM got lost. I have to buy another SIM there. And they didn't register it. See, now I've not even registered at the NIN. I'm, I'm, I'm even going to call you with that line. I've not even registered it. Please call with the line so, so I, that you can tell us okay, uh, uh, the payment plan, how you return this money back because okay, okay, it won't be nice for you okay. to hold your money and all that. Okay, no problem. I'll call you. Okay. Sure. So by September, why in what? Why in August? August? So by September, he would you expect 200,000. Am I right? Maybe I'll drop. Let me, let me try to recover. Okay, okay. So you said by by September you should expect two hundred thousand, right? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, please call us with the number so that we can send you our information. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. That is the reason why it is proper to hear from both parties. He has explained her own side of the story. I thank you viewers for being with us. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel on Access to Justice TV and follow us on our Facebook page on Human Rights Defenders and Access to Justice Advocate Center. For more useful information, visit our website on www.hrdac.org.ng. Yeah, is that the number? Okay, I'll save it. Thank you. So.
is a transaction, it's not a scam. So we still have to re re tell the admin to retire to the heading of your case. All right? So even if they are interviewing people before you come in, you should be able to tell them the right uh, start of your, of your case so that they know exactly what to tie to it. Okay? Okay, ma'am. All right. Thank you very much.